Hi there, it's Robin here from quiltingintheloft.com. I'm planning to do a studio tour today and I thought you might enjoy coming along to see what kind of ideas I have for organization. It's a great day for me to do a studio tour because I just received my new baby yesterday and that's my new Q20 Bernina long arm with studio frame. And I wanna show that to you to show you what I'll be doing going forward. I'm on the main level of my home right now, but I'm gonna take you on a tour up the stairs and into my quilt, quilting loft, and hopefully you'll enjoy the tour. So I'm gonna start my tour on the bottom level of my home, and I'm gonna head up the staircase. And this staircase uh, was kind of a feat of architectural ingenuity and carpentry, and I'm really proud of my husband for being able to build me a winding staircase in a very tight spot. He did a great job. And we're gonna head up the stairs for my studio tour. I'm going very slowly. And I'm gonna show you my little quilt halfway up my staircase. And it is from a pattern by Laura Hain, and it is a collage quilt representing a tomato pin cushion. Kind of cute way to start my way up my staircase. And I'm turning the stair up the staircase and you'll see that I have Ikea cabinets. There's a bank of them. There's three together. There's six drawers. I don't remember the name of them, but they are from Ikea and they're on, uh, they're on rollers as well. And then you'll see as well above them, some industrial organizers and they are actually from Canadian Tire. They're meant for tools, uh, probably for screws and um, for nails and whatnot and use those for lots of different things and they're all labeled so I know exactly where to find everything. And then I have another couple of uh, Ikea shelves on top of my bank of cabinets. And then I'm gonna take you down the right hand side of my loft studio. And this entire studio is above my home. So it's long and narrow. And I don't have a lot of wall space, but I was able to manage to put uh, the shelves, their wire shelves by Rubbermaid. And I purchased them from Habitat Restore. So I'm encouraging uh, you as well to look outside of the retail you might be able to support a charity by purchasing something to organize your sewing room. And you, you'll see that I have lots of tubs that are clear so I can see inside of them, number one. And then they're labeled as well and uh, so I can keep things organized. And I have a few dollar store little cabinets as well. And then I have all of my patterns in binders, as you can see, and they're all labeled. So I'm looking for a particular pattern. I just pull it out, um, look it up and pull out one of the binders. And along this wall, I have more tubs and a corner is kind of an awkward spot. So that's where I hold my batting. And then I have two CD towers um, that my father made that I put um, all of my uh, long arm thread in. And I'm gonna back up a little bit and you'll see that I have what looks like kind of a uh, um, saw horses and they these are also from Ikea and then on top of it is a butcher block from Ikea it's about five inches long by about three and a half to four inches deep and And that's my cutting table and it's not affixed to the to the base so I can move this around wherever I want to if I want to change my sewing space around and down below of course there's a tub full of quilts re ready to be quilted and uh, a little DIY with an old um, hot chocolate container <laughs> that I add fabric strips to just glued and and inside I have some uh, their toilet whole rollers if you can see it i'll just try and get the camera over top of it but i took put toilet paper rolls in there to organize my scissors and i'm going to show you over here i have a couple of little shelves that i put on the wall because i have very little wall space and i needed pegboard but i don't have room for it so this is my solution these little shelves to put my rulers on and then i'm going to turn around and i'm going to show you my other bank of cabinets on the other side of my sewing room. Also, again, a Rubbermaid um, plastic wire shelf um, from Habitat Restore. And for the most part, most of my fabric, my cotton quilting fabric, is stored in these shoebox type um, bins in color. 
in their colorway and it's just easier to grab it when I need something for a project. I also have all of my fusibles, my interfacing, my freezer paper, as you can see. And I have binders, um, again, with some of my embroidery software and my features book and my serger, my Bernina serger book. And then over here, I have shelving that houses all of my magazines and books related to quilting and sewing and um, uh, one little area for pegboard because I don't have a lot of wall space. And most of it is templates that hang there. And then around here, I have a dresser that my sister-in-law rescued for me from the dump, believe it or not. There's a store there up north at one of the, in one of the dumps, and they sell uh, items that are in fairly good condition. And she got she got this from there, um, and so that's where um, that came from. And I just changed the hardware to match another dresser that's in my sewing room that I'll show you in a minute. And that's where I – it's a really nice, stable spot. I have it labeled for buttons and stencils right now, and it's a nice, stable spot to hold my printer where I print all of my class supplies and – instructions and graphics and I have my little stained glass hanging it's always nice to have some decorative things hanging in my sewing room it keeps it cheerful and have some really nice memories hanging up and then over here I have a little lounge area where I read my patterns or just have a cup of tea or come up and read a book on a Sunday and it's my little little spot of heaven there and you'll see a lamp that I made and I put some old wooden spools in it. I'm not going to call them antiques, but they're wooden spools. And um, the lamp hardware I got at a place in Guelph, but I saw online where you can buy lamp hardware for canning jars. So um, that's what I made it from. And then back here I have uh, a collage hanging and then a doodle that my daughter did for me. And I framed it because it's so gorgeous and it looks nice with my collage. And back here is two closets. There's one on this side and there's one on this side. And those closets, that's what I call Never Never Land because it's full of um, seasonal clothing and other crafts that I'm involved in. And then there's a chair back there that needs to be fixed. And another dresser. That's the dresser that I changed out the hardware to match um, with the dump rescue one. And the railing here, I hang quilt signs. So that's kind of handy. And then this is my domestic area. So I have my Bernina 350 machine there. And over here I have my Bernina 200 and my 800DL uh, Bernina serger as well. And obviously a sewing area and cork board that I hang my mini quilts on. And some doodads and mementos and useful items on a shelf. And over here I have a whole collection of pin cushions and bag hardware. And then down below my um, ironing center, I have a shelf and I again have some things stored, not so neatly, but um, that's neat for me. <laughs> and I'm gonna take you around and show you my baby, my new baby. And that is my Bernina Q20 machine that I'm super excited about. And the studio frame, it's a 10 foot studio frame. I've just gotten this yesterday, so I've had a little bit of time to play with it. And I'll show you a few things that I've been sort of doing on it. Just some fun that I'm having with it. This is an amazing machine. It has so many functions and I can't really get into it now. So it will take me a bit of a time, but I'm loving it so far. Smooth stitching, quality stitching, absolutely gorgeous work on it um, already. I can see the potential, and it's going to be a fantastic addition to my uh, sewing studio. Can't wait to show you more features. Super excited to have this machine um, in my studio and um, looking forward to the future with it and having so much fun. I hope you enjoyed my studio tour today. Have a great day. Thank you.